welcome back to my channel it's empties day i have my bag here just full to the brim so let's just jump right in as usual i'm not going to do a deep dive into ingredients because i just want to get through this as much as possible so if you have any questions about ingredients if i didn't talk too much about my like really in-depth experience with the product please do not hesitate to ask so ask away in the comments below if you have more like detailed questions that I just did not have time to get to here today. So let's first talk about the uh, Dr. Bronner's Castile, <clears throat> excuse me, Castile soaps. I don't know if I've ever included these in an actual empties video. Sometimes I will take my staple products, take a photograph or a video and put that over on Instagram, but I'm just, I don't have time to do that here today. So I'm just including everything here in the video. I use these all the time. I have these in those like foam dispensers. So I'll do 50% the Dr. Bronner's 50% water. So I use these in the foaming dispensers for hand wash. I dilute these and I use them in the shower. So I've also got a different dispenser, not necessarily a foaming dispenser, but just a regular dispenser in the shower. So suffice to say, I use these all the time. And my favorite is to mix the peppermint and the almond. I love that mixture. It just makes my favorite blend for, you know, the scent profile. So I use these all the time. It's a favorite staple of mine around the house. I've got a couple flourish things here. I've got the silky shampoo and the silky conditioner. This is lavender mint. This is probably my favorite shampoo conditioner that I have been using over the last few years. I really love Flourish as a brand. You guys have heard me talk about them a lot. So that is a huge favorite of mine. Another huge favorite is the 100% Pure Bright Eyes. These are their eye masks. I use these, they're like eye gel masks. I use these when I've got puffy eyes in the morning, which is a lot of the time. Now, one thing I will say is they come individually packaged. So there's five in a pack here, and I really don't like in terms of being eco-friendly, that's not super eco-friendly that it comes you know, individually packaged. So I am trying to find an alternative. So more like an eye gel, that comes in a tub and I am testing out a new one right now I'm not going to talk about it in this video I'll be talking about it later so I am actually looking for alternatives so that I don't have to keep using an individually packaged set of eye gels every time I want to use one so if you have some alternatives recommendations of eye gel masks that come in a tub please do let me know I am on the hunt for an alternative to the 100% pure I also have Epsom salts here. As you guys know, I love Epsom salt baths, so I just wanted to give a little shout out. I am not partial to any brand. I will get them anywhere that I'm at if I find them at the grocery store, Whole Foods, wherever I will purchase them. Here's another one of the 100% pure. I went through another one of the Jordan Samuel Matinee Gel Cleanser. This is a family favorite. I love it. My son loves it. It's got salicylic acid in it. Very gentle, so it's good for a variety of skin types. I also have an empty Cora Organics. What is this? The Turmeric Brightening Exfoliating Mask. Didn't like this. I would not purchase this again. Really didn't do a whole lot. I found that it was a little bit too rough in terms of being an exfoliating mask or a physical exfoliant. I don't know what the actual physical exfoliant is. It was too rough for me. I ended up using it on my body. I would not repurchase that. I have the Natural Logic and Body Polish here. This is a body polish and smells absolutely divine. I don't know if you can see a little bit of what it looks like in there. It smells like coffee and I think it might be cardamom. I'm not exactly sure. Oh, coriander, it's a coffee and coriander. It smells amazing. Absolutely love this. This was gifted to me, but I would get this with my own money. Absolutely love it. It's fantastic. Um, I am reaching here for the Frankincense Tonic. This is a facial mist from Living Libations. I believe this was sent to me. Um, I don't think I would purchase this with my own money. It just didn't really strike me as anything that amazing. So with hydrosols, they're not going to be that hydrating unless it has a humectant in it. And I don't believe that has a humectant in it. It's just a frankincense hydrosol. And I don't remember the scent being that amazing. So that isn't something I'd get in the future. Um, I did go through another Andalou toning refresher. I have purchased another one and I feel like the, um, the formula has changed. It's really weird. It's like when I spray it out, it's almost kind of sudsy. 
and I returned it to my New Seasons. I got another one and it too is also sudsy. So I don't know what's going on with the formula, but I can't recommend this, at least the purple one anymore, because something is very strange with the formula. I don't understand what's going on with it, but I'm not enjoying it anymore. So that's really, really sad for me because that was a huge favorite of mine. Um, this is the Marie Veronique Everyday Coverage Tinted Sunscreen. This was uh, gifted to me by a friend. I don't really love this. I think it's quite expensive. I don't think it's anything that amazing. I'm loving the My Shell one way more, which is also probably like a quarter of the price of that, maybe even less. So yeah, that is not something I would purchase. Um, on my own. Oh my God, I'm pulling out another one of these 100% pure ones. So that shows you how frequently I go through those eye masks and why I want to find an alternative so that I'm not wasting packaging so frequently. Uh, this is the Josh Rosebrook Nutrient Day Cream. This is the tinted one, SPF 30. I love this stuff. I, it really is a favorite of mine. So um, in my video where I talked about SPF, in the comments below, we talked a lot about SPF 30 versus SPF 50. And when it comes down to it, there actually isn't a whole lot of difference between SPF 30 and SPF 50 if you apply the SPF 30 correctly. So if you are applying your SPF 30 with, you know, doing the full quarter teaspoon, like if you're pumping out, you know, an actual quarter teaspoon, a quarter teaspoon full of your SPF and you're applying the whole thing on your face, then yes, you are getting SPF 30. You're getting that full SPF 30. That's great. Awesome for you. I am not, I, I would like to say I'm doing that every single day, but I'm not. So I'm gonna be doing my best to use my SPF 50 as much as I can, but I absolutely love this stuff. I think it's amazing. So I will continue to purchase the Josh Rosebrook. And then when I do use it, I'm gonna to try to use as close to a quarter teaspoon as I possibly can. So that's basically the story on the SPF 30 versus SPF 50 when it comes to myself. And again, I don't want to go too deep into that on an empties video, but if you have any questions about it, you should refer to that video that I did. Or if you have any more questions about that, you know, feel free to ask below. All right. So next up is the Ordinary Grand Active Retinoid in Squalane. I, you know, I actually did really like this stuff, but I did notice towards the end, it started to get a weird smell. So I think maybe it's just not super stable in this packaging. And I just don't know if I'm gonna go through it that quickly. So even though it's a great price, I'm not sure if I would purchase that again, just because of the stability issue, I'm not sure. So I'm a little bit on the fence with if I would repurchase that again. Um, this is the MOA Fortifying Green Bath Potion. This stuff is incredible. If you like the scent of fennel, licorice with peppermint, I'm pretty sure it's, yeah, it's peppermint and fennel. This stuff is really incredible. And when you put it in the bath, your whole bathroom just smells of this. It's, it's really quite impressive. Um, my husband's not a huge fan of the, he likes fennel, but he didn't really like it that much when I would be in the bathtub and he would step into the bathroom, it would be too overwhelming for him. So that kind of goes to show you how intense the smell is. But for me, I really loved it. I found it to be very just uh, incredibly relaxing and rejuvenating, especially if I felt like I had sore muscles. Uh, I just really loved it a lot. Um, and I apologize if I'm talking too fast. I know some of you, when I get in this mode of trying to fly through something really quickly, I've had a couple comments, like you could tell that I was rushing and talking quickly. So I apologize, but I am gonna be talking kind of fast in this video. Um, this is an empty Fivenia Divine All Seasons Bio Cellulose Mask. This is just an incredible mask. I actually do not really like sheet masks, but this is the biocellulose masks mask. So it really, you know, it's got that um, more gel like texture, which, you know, on the sheet masks, I, I feel like it's kind of suffocating and I feel like it kind of, they irritate my skin, but this one just feels so good on the skin. It just really forms to the skin nicely and it really hydrates beautifully. They're very expensive. Um, I did get this sent to me by the Boxwalla when they had a special box um, this last fall. So I feel like I would definitely purchase these again, but really save them for special occasions like, um, you know, when you really feel like you want to treat yourself or if you have a special event coming up. Um, but yeah, these are just gorgeous, beautiful masks and I highly recommend them. And I know that Fivenia actually does do 
uh, $25 off your purchase and I don't think there is a minimum. So if you wanted to purchase a couple of those and use the 25% or $25 off coupon towards two of those, that would just be spectacular. So um, be on the lookout for those coupons when they do those, maybe get on their mailing list. Um, highly recommend those a lot. So this is the Petrichor from um, Stark Skincare. This is a really beautiful uh, facial mist, especially if you love the scent of vetiver. I highly recommend this. And the vetiver in here, I feel like vetiver is kind of like a shape shifter. It can have a lot of different kinds of scents, um, sort of like a chameleon. And this one, uh, the vetiver is very powdery. So if you know vetiver well and you appreciate vetiver when it kind of has that powdery aspect, you would love this. Uh, facial mist. So I highly recommend it, especially to you if you are a vetiver fan. Um, sticking with the facial mist, this is near and dear to my heart. This is the, and Fivenia. This is the Fivenia Grace Autumn Hydrolot. I will be getting this again very, very soon. As soon as my Fivenia um, summertime, what is it, the Lucent, as soon as that runs out, I will be getting the Fivenia um, Grace Hydrolot. I absolutely love this so much. Oh, it smells like woodsy uh, osmanthus. It is so amazing. It just speaks to my soul. I love it. I love it. I love it. I can't speak highly enough of this. So I would probably in my next Fivenia purchase, I would get this along with a couple of the biocellulose masks and just would be in heaven. Um, let's see. This is the Sahara Rose Luminous Clarifying Cleanser. This was a huge surprise for me. Um, they sent me a few of their products. They also did a giveaway with me, which was fantastic. Um, the woman who won the, um, the giveaway was, I mean, she sent me an email. I've never had this happen before when somebody then wrote me about how much they love their products, but she wrote me, she was just super happy with everything that she won. And I think she also really loved this cleanser. It's very aromatic. It smells beautiful. It's very thin, um, which I, I don't know. I, I just was kind of surprised by the texture, but I really like the thinness of this. It's kind of like oil. It's like a oil meets milk cleanser, rinses off beautifully. Anyway, I've got a code below if you're curious about Sahara Rose, and I think the code also gives you free shipping. So anyway, um, this was a really big hit for me. Was very surprised by how much I liked all the Sahara Rose products. Uh, what else do I have in here? Oh yeah, so this is the Youth Serum from Arcona. This is 20% L-ascorbic. I love this. This will be another uh, product that I continue to purchase. Towards the very end, I could tell that it did start to oxidize. You can see maybe here at the opening that it is a little bit orange. Um, that is not a fault of the product. It is a fault of my own because I have so many products that I just didn't use it quickly enough. And so I just need to make sure that I don't have too many vitamin C products going at one time before I purchase this again so that I go through it a little bit quicker. But it's a great product. I love it. The next product I want to talk about is a huge hit and this was from Love One Love Organics and this is their Skin Do. This is made, I forget what the exact percentage is, but a huge percentage of coconut water in here. And I just absolutely loved it. It just worked really well for my skin. This is another product I would definitely purchase. I think this came in a clean beauty box. Huge hit for me. I have a lot of creams going right now, but that is something I would definitely purchase in the future. Another empty I have here is the Ren Ever Calm Gentle Cleansing Milk. I really, really love this stuff. I purchased this because uh, Renee from the Gothamista was talking about this. And so I decided to go for it, I think in a Sephora sale. And I really, really like this. It removes makeup so well. I was actually really impressed by it. So um, I'm trying to go through all my cleansers right now before I purchase any other cleansers, but that will definitely be a cleanser that I purchase again in the future. Uh, speaking of cleansers, here's the Earthwise Beauty Marshmallow Face Cleanser. You all know this is one of my favorites. Uh, they did send me another one. They replenished my supply. So thank you guys so much from the Earthwise Beauty team for doing that. I really love it. You guys have heard me talk about it a million times. It's just probably my favorite foaming cleanser because it is so gentle. It does not give you that squeaky clean feeling at all. It just makes your skin feel beautifully moisturized um, after you use it. But the, the foam is just like silky smooth. Oh, it's just, it's beautiful. I absolutely love it. 
Um, I did go through, you, you won't see the label here because um, Tony from Natural Logic has changed her packaging, but I finished a Flourish. Absolutely love this cleanser as well. It's just fantastic. It just smells beautifully of, of vanilla and I think, I don't know if it's lemongrass, but there's something else in there, but it's just, it's just really unique and um, love the texture of that. So this is also from Natural Logic. This was a sample, I think this was like a beta sample that Natural Logic sent, that Tony sent. This is her new Elemental Red Wine Essence and I do have a full bottle of this and this is just gorgeous. So if you like essences, I highly recommend it. It's, it's just absolutely stunning and hydrates beautifully. Um, this is Malu from Hanua. This is their Protecting Day Cream SPF 30. And I feel awful because I absolutely love this SPF and I forgot to include it in my SPF video. So I actually pinned a comment um, with a link to, um, to their website because this, this is definitely also a favorite of mine in terms of SPF. It's a beautiful moisturizer and an SPF and I absolutely love this product. So I feel really badly that I didn't include it. I just, it wasn't, you know, obviously it was sitting in my empties bag, so I just forgot about it, but this is definitely something that I would repurchase in the future. I love this SPF. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, here we go. Another Fivenia product. This is the Divine All Seasons Cleanser. This is such a unique product. I mean, I guess I would classify it under a cream cleanser, but there is clay in here. So it's kind of like, almost like a thick paste, but it doesn't feel, you know, it doesn't tug. It doesn't pull when you put it on your skin. It just, um, it's just really, really unique. And I really loved using it. It has such an interesting, you can see the color of the product a little bit and maybe a little bit. You can see the texture just a little bit there. So it's creamy, but you can also feel the clays in there. So it kind of, you can feel the clarifying action. I don't know, it's again, it's, it's so hard to describe textures, but it's very unique and you just feel like as you're massaging it, you're really um, like doing that deep clean and the smell is, if, if you're familiar with the, um, the Gui Ying uh, Declote Balm, it kind of, it smells a little bit like that kind of citrusy. It's just really beautiful, really unique. I was pleasantly surprised by it and I definitely would get this again too. So maybe I would include that cleanser in a future order as well. Um, okay, more cleansers. This is the Pa'akai from Hanua. This also is a huge favorite. I included this and also the, um, the Flourish from Natural Logic in my top 2018 cleansers. This is just gorgeous as well. I, I, uh, I, I'm finding myself going in a little bit deeper talking about these uh, products than I thought I was going to, so this is probably a little bit longer than I wanted it to be. But anyway, it's just a fabulous cleanser and I love it. And you should just go check out my 2018 cleanser video um, to learn a little bit more about that as well as the, um, the Flourish cleanser. On continuing on the Hanua, I have the Moana mask. This is a gorgeous mask. Um, this was from a clean beauty box. And I just also love Kapua. She's just such a fabulous person. And this is a gorgeous mask. I just absolutely love it. It feels so nurturing and beautiful going on. I will definitely be repurchasing that in the future. This is the Drunk Elephant Bestie Number no. Nine Jelly Cleanser. This was just okay. I will not be getting this in the future. Didn't really love it, you know, did the job, but it kind of left my skin feeling dry and I don't know, just didn't really love it so much. This is the My Shell uh, Remarkable Retinol Serum. This is really nice. This is something I would get in the future. This has ceramides in it. This was a recommendation from CJ. I got it on sale at Whole Foods. Very reasonably priced, would definitely get that again. This is the Omni Moisture Cream from Natural Logic. This is very lovely, very beautiful texture. I highly recommend this as well. So if you like creams, I recommend that. This is the Earthwise Beauty Black Locust Firming Concentrate, and I also recommend this as well. Um, I talked about this, I think, I can't remember exactly when. I will see if I can get the card 
um, linked up above there if I can figure out which video I talked about this uh, product um, if you're interested in the ingredients but it's a beautiful oil serum but it goes on um, very lightly and it soaks in very beautifully so it almost feels like an emulsion but it's not I think it's made up entirely of oils it's just very beautiful and it has natural um, firming ingredients in it so it doesn't have any retinols in it but I believe that um, the ingredients in there act as a natural retinol. I'm not exactly sure, don't quote me on that, but anyway, I'll try to find the original um, video that I talked about that uh, product so that you can learn more about it if you're interested. This is the, was this the giver? This is from Wabi Sabi. This was in a clean beauty box. This is an oil cleanser that you don't rinse off. You need to use a warm cloth to remove this. This was just gorgeous. I just became, so addicted to the coffee scent of this. Absolutely stunning. I also finished my Mala Apothecary Treatment Elixir, the Primavera one. This is her vitamin C. I absolutely love this and it's just a fantastic um, like emulsion type product that has cockadoo plum in it. That's where the vitamin C comes from. Let's see, oh, I also finished another Jane Iredell Pure Pressed Base. This has SPF 20 in it. So this is not something you wanna rely on for your SPF, but it's just sort of like additional protection. And I have raved about this a million times on my channel. Absolutely love it. Okay, and another Earthwise Beauty product is the Ambrosia Del Cerrado. This is another one of those beautiful emulsion type products that I absolutely love. So it's kind of like a toner slash moisturizer. This has been another perennial favorite of mine from Earthwise Beauty. Absolutely love it. Would definitely be getting that again. Um, this is another one of those hydrosols from Living Libations that they sent to me. This is the rose one. Just okay. Wouldn't be getting this again in the future was happy to use it. I think I use this on a lot of dry masks. So instead of water, I would use that. So yeah, it was just so-so. This was the Root Science Bright Eye Serum. This was in a clean beauty box. I really enjoyed this. And um, I think this was the product that initially got me into oil products uh, for the under eye. And I would definitely get this in the future, but I just have so many under eye products going right now that I don't feel like I need to be getting this anytime soon. All right, so let's talk about the Paylu Visionary Cleansing Cream. I really enjoyed using this. It's a really nice cleansing cream, nice and thick, very nurturing feeling, uh, very effective, really great for travel. Can't say anything bad about it. Really like this product a lot. Um, I also got the Derma E Hyaluronic Acid Vitamin C Serum. This came in that Whole Foods beauty bag. Really like this product a lot. I would consider getting the full size in the future, most definitely. Okay, and then lastly, I have here the Siam C's. Let's see, this was the Psy Serum, and this came in a box wall of beauty box. Mm -hmm. The texture just didn't really work out for me. I know that she had Supadra, the formulator of Siamcs, she ended up reformulating it again. And I think it was the, what is like gypsum, I think that was in here that kind of gave it that gritty grainy texture. I think she even dialed it down even more. So I haven't tried the reformulated version, but just, it just didn't work for me. The texture just didn't work for me. Now I know that there are people out there who love it, who swear by it. Um, who, you know, the graininess just either didn't bother them or it ended up just, um, I don't know, dissolving or absorbing into their skin. It never really absorbed for me. I always felt like I had that grainy texture on my skin and it just really bothered me. And so, yeah, so this one just didn't work out for me. I would love to try the new, the newly reformulated, um, Psy, but I don't think I would go out of my way to actually purchase it just in case it didn't work out for me again. But I, you know, I was happy to try it. And in that, in the, uh, box wall of beauty box the um i forget the name of it but it i think it was qualm rock it was the body serum that was just absolutely beautiful beautiful it was like a emulsion smells like i like pakaki and or not pakaki i think it was like plumeria and um jasmine sambak just oh absolutely beautiful i still have some of it and i'm using it very sparingly because that was absolutely stunning so my camera is telling me my battery is about to die which is actually perfect timing because i'm pretty much done anyway so i'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up thank you so much for bearing with me in my rapid talking. 
I wanted to get through I wanted to get through this pretty quickly anyway so if you have any questions about any of these products and my experience with them uh, please don't hesitate to ask below thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video bye mm -hmm.